everyone. Uh, before we get further into the year um, and go into another review, I thought I should do a video to explain how I actually rank my movies and where I'm coming from so you kind of get a little insight on how I uh, measure a movie up to my own liking. So to uh, kind of explain, I'm going to um, go from my list that was in mid-December before I saw the last movie I saw. The last movie I saw last year was The Greatest Showman. Uh, and I definitely knew it was going to be up in like the top part of my movie because I loved it. And so whenever I'm ranking a movie, I basically say to myself, if I was forced to watch movie A or movie B, would I pick A or would I pick B? If I had to pick one right then, no other choice from those two movies. And so that's where I kind of move it up from the list. So um, before I saw Greatest Showman, um, my list was one, Star Wars 8. 2. Logan, 3. Thor Ragnarok, 4. Beauty and the Beast, and 5. Hidden Figures. Alright, so I saw The Greatest Showman and then I'm looking at my list and I know it's pretty high there. So I look at Hidden Figures and I say, if I had to watch one or the other, would I watch The Greatest Showman or would I watch Hidden Figures again? And you know, they were both pretty good movies in two different categories. Um, if I had to put it down to that choice, uh, I would actually pick Greatest Showman. Uh, rather entertaining. Um, you know, I'm a musical fan, so it kind of goes into that. And I just rather, you know, it's really exciting and really love the music. Then I go up to the next one, Beauty and the Beast. It's also a musical. So now they're kind of on the same playing field. So would I rather watch Beauty and the Beast again, or would I rather watch The Greatest Showman again? And then I have to like, hmm, well, you know what? Uh, Beauty and the Beast played on a lot of nostalgia. They did a great job from the animated feature. Uh, Greatest Showman also has musical numbers, but they were original and never heard them before. Um, uh, all right, fine. You know what? I'm going to do Greatest Showman again. So Beauty and the Beast gets dumped, bumped down to number five, and Greatest Showman kind of moves up the list. And then I picked Thor, or would I pick great, uh, Greatest Showman? Superhero movie? Musical. Same thing. I'm like, hmm. So I really like the music in Greatest Showman. But Thor was funny, it had a lot of good action, a lot of things I was looking for in a Marvel Universe movie. Really loved that film and hit Chris Hemsworth, hello. Um, but Hugh Jackman, hello. Okay, so hmm, would I rather watch one or the other? Uh, Greatest Showman was amazing. So I'm going to put Greatest Showman, I'd rather watch it before Thor. So Thor now gets bumped down to four. Um, and now Greatest Showman is at number three and now it's looking at Logan. Superhero movie, musical. Hugh Jackman movie, Hugh Jackman movie. Ah, which one would I rather watch if I had to force between the two? Hmm. And I have to pick Logan, actually. I like the drama. I like, you know, the last time Hugh Jackman is going to play the Wolverine. Uh, Patrick Stewart is going to play a Professor X. There's great story elements, action, everything I was looking in for, you know, not only a superhero, but a drama story. And the story was really great. So I uh, will keep Logan in number two. And then I will put in The Greatest Showman in number three. Four uh, would be uh, Thor uh, Ragnarok. And then five, rounding up that list, would be Beauty and the Beast. So I hope that makes sense. Final thing I do want to say is there are some good movies that... Um, you know, I prefer over others as far as genres go. Um, there are some movies that I will not watch. And there are some movies that I will, you can't keep me away from. So the genres that I love is, first, number one is heist movies. Uh, those are going to be Ocean's Eleven, uh, Focus, Now You See Me, A Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, it's clever, it's witty, and sleight of hand. We had to almost watch it again. My favorite movies. Uh, I also like superhero movies, especially Marvel. But, you know, Wonder Woman was great last year, too. Top 10 movies. Um, Star Wars, huge fan. Don't even get me started on Star Wars. And then uh, Disney, uh, both animated and both live action. Um, they rank pretty high up there. Um, but there's some movies that fall flat. I have to say, like, the last movie that just eh, I didn't really like was The Good Dinosaur. Ugh, waste of time. All right. Um, dramas, um, you know, Hidden Figures was on my list. Gifted was on my list. Silence was on my list. I really like a good story and a good drama. And then uh, Action Adventure, uh, that's your Pirates of the Caribbean, kind of falls in superhero movies. Um, those are just fun to watch. And then finally, Animated Features. I do watch my fair share if I don't feel like it's for too little. Like, um, I wasn't interested in seeing um, Paddington 2. I mean, it looked like that was marketed for 
four-year-old and you younger. Um, but that's pretty much the movies that I kind of love and I kind of really enjoy watching. Uh, the movies that you, I, I cannot stand watching, uh, first of all, westerns. The last time I watched a western was uh, Magnificent Seven with Denzel Washington. I think I fell asleep three times during that movie. I'm just not my thing. Um, two war movies, military movies. I, you know, I'm proud of our boys. You know, it's great. Um, but uh, they just bore me. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Just, unless there's like this huge other story, like Atonement, which is fantastic. But the last movie I saw was Fury with the tank and I was bored. I, I just, I zoned out through half of it. Not my thing. And then horror movie. Will not do a horror movie no matter what. Um, it's different from a thriller movie like Cloverfield, um, the uh, Split, that's the more of a thriller type movie, Suspense, don't mind those. But if it's like a boogeyman, a ghost, a poltergeist, uh, no, like right now in Insidious in the theater, no, you can't get me in there. I can barely walk in there to check on, to see people on their cell phones, let alone go in there because I just can't do it. Finally, I can't do end of the world movies, no, um... Uh, diseases taking over the world, no meteorite, no something that the world may end. I have a really active imagination and those movies just don't fare well with me. All right, so I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with my movies. I'm completely biased to what I like when I don't like, uh, but uh, in the end, I'm just really looking for a good in a story um, that makes sense, that's clever, original, and uh, just can entertain me for two hours. That's what you want out of a movie, right? All right, I hope that makes sense because I'm about to review my second movie of the year. So uh, look, uh, stay tuned to the next video uh, where I'll be reviewing The Commuter. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I will see you guys at the next review. All right, bye.